Only on two, he was there for one of the pivotal moments in world history, D-Day and the storming of Normandy Beach. Chicagoan Walter Wifnagolich earned two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star and other honors for his heroic actions during World War II. He recently passed at the age of 101. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemignol tells us about the lasting legacy the Army veteran has left behind in Albany Park. A final salute to World War II veteran and lifelong Chicagoan, Walter Wyth Nogolich. An American flag is presented to Nogolich's family on behalf of the President of the United States and the U.S. Army. He loved that he was able to serve. Nogolich, who was of Serbian descent, died on August 19th at the age of 101. The Lane Tech High School graduate served in the U.S. Army. He was among the soldiers who landed in Normandy on D-Day with the 90th Infantry. He was awarded the Purple Heart, Bronze Star, and two presidential citations. I asked him, I said, how did you survive? He was wounded, of course, he had the Purple Heart. He said, you know, honey, I just didn't dwell on it. I just kept going. He had a lot of faith. His daughter said, oh, is Chicago-born actor Natalia Nogolich. Frank. Best known for her roles in Star Trek, The Next Generation, and Christmas Vacation. Natalia says her father's faith was an integral part of his life. Walter and his wife Helen wanted to have a church for the Serbian community here in Albany Park. So in 1964, they, along with 18 other families, came together to found the church I'm standing in, St. Stephen of Decheny Serbian Orthodox Church. Today, the congregation is more than 350 strong. Their legacy is their love towards God and towards our, uh, our beautiful community here. I do know that both my mother and father were people that will not be forgotten. Nogolich shared his views on faith with the St. Basil of Ostrog High School Sunday School class just three months ago. Because if you don't love God, you don't love yourself. Walter Wyth Nogolich, a veteran, a man of God, who helped to create a place of worship, providing community outreach in Albany Park for generations to come. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. And in case you're wondering, Nogalich had the nickname Whiff because of his impressive speed on the football and baseball fields.